All right. I like these YouTube live videos because you can just do them impulsively and not get stuck editing stuff. Anyway, uh, the topic is fingerboard markers. I got a lot of, you know, messages and comments and stuff about um, another video I made where I talked about how to mark them off and um, put the markers on with some correction fluid, liquid paper, whiteout, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm making this as an update to that because I was just hanging out with my buddy Dan Merriman. I was in upstate New York. Um, I was hanging with him and I was also doing a little gig at the Hudson Valley Philharmonic, which is a little orchestra up there, good people. Um, but anyway, yeah, Dan showed me what he does to make markers on his bass and it's, I think it's a little bit slicker than the, uh, the whiteout version and I'll show you why in a second. Um, so all you need to do this, it's the same process, you're just gonna mark off where you want the markers with pencil. Um, but then instead of painting on markers with whiteout, what he showed me to do is he got a roll of white duct tape, right? I guess you could do it with other kinds of tape, but he used white duct tape. It seems to have good glue that sticks enough. Um, and he gets like a hole puncher, like what you'd have in, in school, you know, for like your binder. So he punches a hole in the roll of tape and then peels it out and sticks it on the base. And as you can see, it gets the job done, but I think it just looks a lot neater than the whiteout. So I, I made the switch here. So you're basically just making like a little sticker uh, out of the duct tape and sticking it on wherever you need it. It's been on a couple days in and out of the case. They haven't been moving around on me. And like I said, they just look neater and they're also more clear in low light. Um, so yeah, I put some markers on the side of the base and the neck. So there's, no, there's nothing really on the face because I'm not like looking at it. And then in thumb position, I also did the same thing, right? Um, I changed up the system that I had a little bit. Um, now, instead of like every other position or whatever, I have a marker on the octave, uh, a minor third above that, right? And then at the next harmonic, which would be like if you're on the D string, um, if your D is down here, this would be where the A harmonic on the D string would be, or the natural A if you press it, right? So that seems to divide up the fingerboard enough for me. Um, and then last, I have the next octave, right? So there's a, um, there would be a D here and a G here. And then um, up here, again, same thing, a minor third up from the octave, and then a major third up from that. So you have the last harmonic up there. I'm not in standard tuning right now, so, um, you know, if I play a, a, a G, right, it's not really a G, I'm getting G sharp, but... Anyway, that's beside the point. So I think that is a much smoother way to do it. Um, it's really easy to do yourself. It doesn't, like I'm not artistic at all. So for me to paint on a dot is like, it always comes out messy. I'm sure there's people who could do it neatly. I'm not one of them. Um, being able to just punch a hole is way easier. Um, and also I think it's easier to move them around if you change your mind. Um, like I used my old system when I had like a million dots on there and I was like, ah, this is kind of too much. I don't need all this. So I took a few off um, just so it was like less of a, an eyesore to look at. Um, and this is, yeah, I've been playing this for the last couple days. It works really well. Um, it's actually less markers. Maybe I'm getting better and maybe I need, I don't know, whatever. But um, yeah, it's, it just seems to work for me. But again, like I said, if you want to move around these things, it's just like a little sticker that you can peel on and off. Or um, if you, like one falls off and you want to replace it, you just punch out another one and stick it on. It's a lot quicker. You don't have to wait for anything to dry, so I think it's a good system. Give it a shot, let me know what you think. Hopefully it helps. That's all I got for you right now. Uh, take care. Uh, wait, so I should probably tell you to like subscribe and all that, right? Yeah, I don't have a huge YouTube channel, you know, but if you want to subscribe and catch these videos, um, you, can, you can hit the button. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. Everything is pretty much under my name. If you search my name, then it's all there. So anyway, oh, I got a comment from Patrick McCarthy. Sup, dude? Make it a video, dude. <laughs> That's it. But anyway, um, yeah, let me know. Take care, guys. Until next time.